we met with many victims. One of them was a three years old little girl. And I will never forget the look in her eye, the look of, I need help, uh, the tears of her father and her mother. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. How are you? And what, who is the little girl? Now is I was working in a farm with a Muslim family. We two were living there. He invited me that you all family should embrace Islam and come to Islam. When we totally refused and we will not come under their pressure, then they abused my daughter. I was working in a farm. He came to my home and he saw my young daughter and kidnapped her. When I went back to my home, so I saw my daughter was not there. Then on one field, I saw him that he was raping her. And when he saw me, he left her unconscious with bleeding and ran away. I wanted to catch him, but when I saw my daughter unconscious and full of bleeding, I was not able to even go any further, so I took her in my hands. She has a nightmare and she's, she's still traumatized. And uh, there are some depression, but there are many other things which I cannot show on her body. She cannot pass urine in a normal way, so they made an other hole from here for, to pass urine and you know, the other thing. We are out of our, we left our home on earth because of that person. My daughter is raped because of that person and we are facing atrocity, threat and all this suffering because of that person. And more than that, that person attacked our faith and tried to uh, uh, convert us to Islam. So it is difficult for me to forgive him because if today I will forgive him, tomorrow anybody can and rape another Christian girl. But I want that according to the law, that person should be punished so they can be stopped raping the Christian girls and attacking our Christian faith. On every knock on our door, we think that someone came to kill us. Yes, I went to the police, but due to their pressure, the police was not listening to us. Till now, they are threatening us. They are after our lives and they wanted to kill us. It's very tough to, to meet this little girl. It's, uh, it's one of the most hard things that I ever did in my life. Um, this little girl, she will never be able to live a normal life. Not only that, she is threat to the rest of her life and she needs to be in hiding, she and her family. Just because in case that the Muslim extremists know where they are, they can arrest them again, they can rape them again, and they can torture them again. And um, we need to do something about that. And this is the bottom line. It was very hard to leave her behind. And I felt that I lost a battle. I couldn't get her, I, I couldn't get her out of there immediately. But I was determined not to lose the war. 